Jerry Rice to me was um, so maniacally driven and humorless and had to win everything all the time. And I was around him every day. And, you know, we got along great. We had our ups and downs. We had some bad moments where, you know, but he was – he was not a joy to be around. It was relent, unrelenting, and it, it wore on everybody, but it also made sense to me that he was the absolute best ever to do it because that's what you want. It would, would have bummed me out if some guy who didn't seem to try that hard or didn't seem to care that much was also the greatest. Like, at least this guy was insufferable, but it led to something. And I, and I think that's how... It was with Michael, and, you know, it, it, I, I remember when Sports Illustrated sent me out um, in the 97, 96-97 season, so the spring of 97, uh, to do a story on Steve Kerr. We had been high school writing partners, and, um, you know, now here he was, and here I was, and it was, you know, it was, it was a cool story. So um, my wife and I and our newborn daughter, who's now... 23 uh, <laughs> flew out there and stayed with Steve and Margo and, and their young family and uh, spent a bunch of days out there and it was awesome and you know Steve had joined the team the year or Steve had been on the team and Jordan had come back the year before and they famously got into a fight like at the first practice and Jordan punched him in the face and uh, it was you know they ended up becoming close and Steve hit the game winning shot in the NBA finals it was awesome so you know, he's kind of really for the first time laying that whole scene out yeah. for me. And, you know, he said, dude, I, he said, you know, I'm sitting in practice and I can tell Jordan doesn't like me or he's mad. He's not into me and he's provoking me. And finally, he's about to, you know, he pushes me. And I, he said, I got two choices and they're not good choices. I can, you know, wuss out and be basically, you know, consigned as, as you know, consigned to the garbage bin in his eyes and my teammates' eyes forever, or I can fight Michael Jordan. And so he fought Michael Jordan and, and lost and, uh, you know, and lived through it. But I, I remember at one point Steve's son, Nick, who is now, uh, you know, a couple years older than my daughter, but he was very young, and I said, uh, you know, he said, yeah, Nick and, you know, Michael's kids shoot around sometimes and, you know, before practice. And I said, well, let me ask you a question. I said, if you played Michael Jordan and horse and you beat him, could you, like, laugh about it the next day or make a comment about it? And Steve, like, looked at me dead serious, and he was like, no way, no chance. And I said, well, what if Nick beat, you know, beat Michael's son? Uh, what, could, could you make a joke about that? And he's like, absolutely not, no. So, I mean, I, I just – I hope people appreciate that the most about Jordan, that it was, you know, sure, he could be funny and charming and he had his outside interest, but it was relentless. And, you know, I, I don't think it's that unlike your Brady's and your Manning's and your Rice's, but, uh, you know, th there's a method to the, to the success. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.